Hey, what's up, Sag? Welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela. I hope all is truly well with you. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be a no contact reading for those uh, Sagittarius's, the cross watchers, those of you who are not speaking to someone in particular, whether this is a lover or this is um, something different, like a platonic situation, something with, with family members. We're going to explore your feelings and the potential feelings of your cross watcher. And then we'll determine at the end whether or not there may be communication. Let's see what's going on with the Saggies. Holy Spirit, show me what's going on with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus. With that, Sagis, um, I want you to think uh, to be the think out of the box when you listen to this reading. This is not a reading that is geared toward. Um, this is not a reading that is going to resonate to a T. This is a reading meant for a large audience, which means that everybody listening is going to have different variations to the story. Not everyone is going to have the exact same situation, so it's guaranteed that this reading is going to have, you know, everything is not going to resonate to a T for that reason. Listen to this with an open mind. Don't linger on the small details that are not genuinely meant for you. Some things are genuinely meant for others. Listen to this with an open mind, like I said, and without further ado, let's get into this for the Aries feel dizzy all of a sudden I don't know if some of you might be feeling dizzy maybe all right feelings and emotions is the overall energy so I feel like maybe you feel like somebody you're in your feelings about something obviously Sagittarius maybe you feel like somebody's a faker a shapeshifter change up out of nowhere Perhaps somebody might feel this way about you, Sag. Were you married to somebody? Yeah, I see that. You do need to get your balance back. Equilibrium. You could be feeling dizzy. Yeah. I don't know. Some of you could be moving. Maybe you moved out from a King of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. You might have these lingering feelings and emotions towards somebody that you might feel is a snake. It's a Scorpio. This King of Cups is a Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Somebody is um, very charming. Oh, and here you are, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a third party situation. Here's the snake. You got a snake in the background here. And you got a snake here. Sad Jesus, a snake around you. And this will be the culprit, this water sign. Some of you are in a third party situation. Others of you, the snake is possibly a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay, so we got a Pisces here. This is both of these card, King of Cups are Scorpio though. But I see a Pisces, no doubt. It's not going to be a Scorpio for everybody, but I see, okay, this is, King of Cups is actually a Cancer. There's a crab here, and then there's a Scorpion. So Cancer and Scorpio are, like, super highlighted in this reading. Water signs. Somebody lacking focus, because I can't get this to focus. <laughs> there it goes. Thank you. Maybe somebody couldn't stay focused in a relationship and yeah, and then followed by that is a seven of swords. So uh, yeah, obviously. Somebody might still be holding on to a cheating episode, a third party situation. Some of you, this is somebody that's still holding on to somebody from their past or something from their past. Now somebody is definitely trying to get one over on somebody and one of you feels like the other one is absolutely loyal. Could be a Leo. Maybe you're not talking to somebody. You got this Queen of Wands. Who could be a Leo? Could be an Earth sign that maybe came in between you. This could be you, Sagittarius, Queen of Wands. Could be an Earth sign that came in between you and your significant other. And some of you, maybe you're not talking to um, this snake over here. Somebody that you feel is a snake. It doesn't mean that it's actual. You might feel that, yeah. Third party situations. Some of you, this could have been somebody that was cheating with somebody at work. Yeah. Some of you, somebody did step out on their relationship with somebody that they weren't with. 
and that might have been what the shape shifting shape shifting is about you feel like this person changes up when they're not around you yeah some of you might be feeling okay so this could definitely be a past person some of you could have been Dealing with a cancer past tense, you could be dealing with a Scorpio now. You could be getting into a new relationship and maybe paranoid that the past is definitely going to repeat itself. It could be having you feeling a bit jaded. And you might be dealing with somebody who is a pretender, a perpetrator, somebody that pretends to have more money than they do because they're trying to impress you or impress, impress other people, impress other women. Somebody is definitely a charmer here. And I see a child's mom. This could be happening around you or to you. Keep that in mind. But I see, yeah, somebody's trying to interfere. So there could obviously be a third party interference. This could be a mother-in-law that maybe tries to interfere with your relationship somehow. This could be like a baby's mom. Somebody might still be into a baby's mom, baby's father. Yeah, somebody's not father of the year. May try to act like they are. But really not. This could even be your own dad. Masterminding. Somebody is a master manipulator here. Somebody knows how to play the game, but they're sloppy at it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have caught them in the act or caught them with what they were doing. Yep, you got a Leo here. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to change. Some of you could, random side note, you could be working out. You could definitely be really focused on your health, your fitness. You could be making some changes there. Okay, somebody locked up. For some of you, there could be somebody that's in the system, the jail system. Somebody could definitely be in jail. Yeah. Or have a, a, a criminal past, possibly. Somebody could work in the jail systems, criminal justice, this type of thing. Yeah, it's like you guys keep going through the same thing over and over again, especially in the communication department. I feel like maybe you guys just cannot communicate effectively to get past an old issue. The third party situation continues to revolve and you're, it continues to be a revolving issue in your relationship. No doubt a Scorpio. Somebody is really feels like they lost you and they may not feel like things are going to work out between the two of you. And so it's like somebody's coming to grips with this. The sobering fact is that, yeah, you guys are not happy and somebody may need to move out because somebody is just absolutely disrespectful. I don't know. You might feel like somebody doesn't have remorse and it could be this king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Earth sign is dominant. Water and earth is dominating this reading. Somebody, yeah, maybe likes to show off their money, is very flashy with their money. Again, somebody pretends like they have more money than they do. Yeah, Gemini. For some of you, this is a Gemini that you are really thinking about. You can't get your mind off of a Gemini and you still have a lot of feelings for a Gemini X of yours. But maybe something just wasn't a success between you and somebody. But I feel like you do want to reach a turning point with somebody. And you do have, a, there's an earth sign, possibly, like I said, a Taurus, that's really still in love with you. But they doubt that you guys can reconcile. And some of you, it's the mother of your child. Some of you, it's your mom. There's a lot of anger and rage. Pent up anger and rage that somebody has. And yeah, some of you, Saggy, somebody is not well. Somebody around you could be very ill. Could be your mom. Somebody wants to come home. Some of you, Saggy's, might be homesick. Maybe you want to spend more time with the ones that you love. Um, the homesick. Maybe you want to be closer to home. The name Maya could be significant. The name Minerva getting a lot of M names so somebody could have an M first middle or last the, the letter M the the initial D yeah somebody plays the victim card here and it's looking like there's there's a need for change I did mention that somebody might be really into deities and magic here and somebody it may be time for somebody to embrace their shadow self 
Absolutely, because it feels like somebody is running. Some of you, somebody might be running from their calling to be like an inspiration to people. Some of you are very musically inclined, by the way. I definitely see that somebody might even be running from love. And I see somebody cooking up a scheme here. Or I don't know. So you just might be like really into spirituality. Might be very curious about witchy things, maybe. But um, there's a lot of signs and a lot of a lot of synchronicities that bring this person back to you. That memory lane is what I mean. Like that, it, it causes them to really think about you and a long-term commitment that they want to have with you. And it looks like there's these waves of emotion that just hit them out of nowhere. And they find themselves really still in love with you. But maybe deny it openly and outwardly to other people. Somebody likes to appear to be cold-hearted. Or they may feel this way about you. That you are just, in fact, cold-hearted. And... Well, somebody is doing some risky things. Some of you, somebody's going to get caught up in, in the system and end up going to jail, serving some time. Um, make sure you protect yourself if you're sleeping with this person because it's like, I don't know, somebody doesn't wrap it up. Random side note, for some of you, that's the case. They don't wrap it up. They're with this one and that one. And... Mm -hmm. Be careful. Make sure you protect yourself. Somebody's argumentative. They put you down. And some of you. This is somebody that's physically abusive. I don't know. Somebody may have stolen from you. This could have been a friend that stole from you. This could be like somebody close to you that maybe you feel like they, they stole your sense of security, they stole your job, they stole something from you, stole some type of success from you, some type of status. I don't know, and Scorpio is super strong here, but definitely listen to your intuition. I don't know, like somebody could be down low. For some of you, that could be the case. Hiding their sexuality. But there's definitely somebody that is a habitual cheater. They won't stop. And they know how to manipulate. Manipulate the system. Yeah. Or manipulate you in some type of way. Somebody feels manipulated. It feels like they made a lot of sacrifices and was loyal to somebody to a fault. And that somebody took advantage of them in some way. Yeah. And let's see, is there something that they want to confess, something that they want to say? There may be a confession, by the way. Somebody may need to confess the truth. Yep, reach out. I feel honestly like, yeah, Air I'm calling you Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. You might have Aries in your chart. But I definitely feel like somebody wants to reach out. Some of you, this is parent reaching out to a child. Yeah. I feel like the likelihood of that, that happening is there. But there's a lot of stubbornness, a lot of bullheadedness here. They want you to drop it. They feel like you're always harping on something, holding on to something that you won't let it go. Yeah, they want you to be happy with them. Saggies. Or this could definitely be you dropping this person and moving on and deciding to be happy. Yeah, They want you to let go. They feel like you might be offended. You may have left because you were offended by something that they said, something that they did. But some of you, somebody is just really over the top anyway and took it too far. And so I feel like that's part of the reason why somebody has pulled away. Let's examine the cross watcher and what's going on with the cross watcher. Somebody's definitely very career focused, and it could be a Leo. Crosswatcher could really still love you, but the Seven of Swords is here. They don't trust you, though. They don't. They caught you doing something that was wrong, immoral, and it could have had something to do with money, finances. Somebody feels taken for granted. It feels like things between the two of you just don't seem to work. 
somebody is overbearing, over the top, controlling, and maybe even a bit abusive. And what is this? Selfish. <sighs> Stubborn. And it could no doubt be this King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We got Gemini so strong in the first spread. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Yeah, selfish with your money. You don't contribute. You keep your money to yourself. You hoard your money. Your mom could be feeling this way, maybe. Could be your child's other parent. That could have been part of the reason why they put you out. The love is there. There's a lot of love that they have for you. But some of you, somebody is ending this situation to start something with somebody else because they feel like you take them for granted. And so they're open to whatever else is out there. And they feel like that's what you were doing when you were in the relationship, that you stepped out on your relationship. And I say Gemini. You no doubt have a Gemini here or you're dealing with somebody with prominent Gemini in their chart. You got the devil, Capricorn. Somebody definitely feels like you you slept with somebody else. You, you left them for somebody else. And yeah, anger issues, volatile temper. Uh, I don't know. Somebody might feel triggered by you. You may want to talk out, talk something out with them. Somebody may want to talk to you, Sagittarius or Cross Watcher, but it feels like somebody might feel like your temper is just out of control. You're easily triggered. They want to talk. They want to reach out to you. It could be your kid. Somebody feels like you guys are just not a good fit for one another. They love you. But at the same time, they're guarded. And they don't really trust right now. They don't really trust you. They don't trust your motive. They don't trust you in general. And they don't feel like you, you give like even half what they give. They feel like they do all the sacrificing and you do all the taking. And so they're not really moving forward with this. And they all, may also feel like you have a drinking problem. Random side note, that might be the case for somebody. That you, that maybe you guys have different belief systems, different religions maybe. Yeah, somebody's not expecting a breakthrough with you. They want this, but they don't feel like it's possible because of that temper. They want to make peace, a promise. Somebody, again, is so fixated on the past. Or they feel like you're fixated on the past. Sagittarius. And I'm trying to... I was almost... I'm hearing Scorpio. Somebody is highly intuitive here. Could be a practitioner of some type. Yeah, they definitely see you as somebody who is disloyal. And somebody that has an issue handling your impulses. Like you can't like... Like you have ooh shiny syndrome. If you see something that looks good or shiny, you got to go touch it. Including like somebody else. It's like touching somebody else that you're not in a relationship with. Yep, the ego. Ego issues. They feel like your ego needs to collapse. And maybe you just won't bring that ego down a few notches. They're thinking about this. They don't want to think about this. They maybe don't feel like you have a lot of remorse about what happened in the past. Maybe you were physically attracted to somebody else. But they're not going to really sacrifice the travel. But I feel like somebody may want to go on a trip to see you. And somebody may want to spend the entire day with you. <laughs> bewitched is what I'm hearing. Is somebody bewitched? Somebody could be trying to put you under their spell. But I feel like somebody may see a future. Or maybe once did. Because it looks like at one one point or another, it was like love at first sight. Some of you, you met this person at work or related to work. Somebody here is, is in love with their ex, whether you are their ex or they had an ex that they were dealing with when they were with you. I don't know. You guys may have just had different ideas and ideals about life and different perspectives about life. And maybe that was like a breaking point too. They want you to open your heart. 
saggies or cross watchers they feel like you're very closed off they want you to accept their offer their offer of love their offer of peace because it does look like somebody wants to bring that to you random some of you are highly gifted your spirit guides want you to share your gift and to create something that maybe create a name for yourself or create something and spread light yep no doubt some of you are no doubt light workers yeah random so you could be very gifted at interior decorating oh say i'm sorry somebody wants to hear those words from you saggies or cross watchers but it's like somebody is saying i can't face you i can't i couldn't tell you face to face I, I have a difficult time getting those words out of my mouth somebody's saying i never want to feel that way again I never want to feel defeated. I never want to feel lied to. I never want to feel taken for granted. Somebody doesn't want to adapt and change in this situation. Somebody's like refusing to do so. Random, if some of you dance, your spirit guides are saying keep doing it. That's for somebody. Some of you, this is parent-child. Child may feel betrayed. It could be a daughter that may feel deceived in some type of way. Some of you are pregnant with a daughter. Yeah, father-daughter. Some of you, this is a father-daughter situation where somebody feels betrayed and taken advantage of. All right. Or a father figure, somebody who is like a father. Yeah, something may not work out is what somebody is feeling. Yeah, because somebody doesn't have, like, has impulse control issues. So let's see. Yeah, somebody's definitely expecting the worst in this situation. It feels like somebody is like, um, somebody feels used. Somebody's saying, I never used to look at you that way. Somebody feels like maybe somebody was leading them on when they really don't really, never, you know, really looked at them like somebody that they could be in a romantic relationship with and maybe led somebody on. Somebody may need to apologize. So let's see. So it does look like somebody wants to reach out on both sides here. But somebody's waiting for an apology on the other side. Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the Sagis, Sagis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Surrender, worry. Make a commitment not to leave an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. It may be time to part ways with some type of worry that you might have about something in your life. About maybe approaching somebody about your health, surrender comparisons with other people. I got this card for Taurus in the career Taurus reading. So some of you, you may want to go check that out. This card was front and center. Some of you are too fixated and worried about what everybody thinks. And that might be one of the, the drawbacks in this situation. Somebody might feel like you care more about everybody else's opinion except for theirs. They're in a relationship with you. They're saying, well, what about what I think? What about what I feel, right? Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Somebody is too busy, focused on everything else everybody else's opinion surrender to prayer give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arise arrive rather so your spirit guides are saying it is time to get by yourself get centered and really get in tune with the divine with God or whomever you believe in spiritually, higher self. It's all the same to me, in my opinion. Anyway, surrender to prayer. It may be necessary for you to really go within and listen to what your guides are trying to tell you because they may be giving you very clear direction, very clear solutions about your situation that are right in front of your face, but you might be kind of like ignoring it. I, I feel sorry in my heart, right? But I can't tell you face to face. I can't face you and tell you. But really deep down inside, like I said before, somebody feels it, but they won't say it to you. They won't say it to your face. 
Well, this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the way to do so would be to go over to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can book your reading there. The link is also below in the description. And if you found that this was helpful, Sagis, give me a thumbs up. If it resonated with you in any way, give me a thumbs up. If you decide to um, leave a comment about your situation, be open about it if, if you feel comfortable doing so. You never know. You may change somebody's life, their perspective. You guys may help one another sort out your issues in the comments. If you decide to subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. I will see you guys again in the next one, Sagis. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.